Hello and welcome back to Shaq Tars of Glory and uh, episode 68 now. Really ramping through these episodes and getting through this series. What we season four now, I always seem a bit surprised when I mention it in the episodes, but it's because I do sort of flip and flap between recording different things. But yeah, we're, we're powering through this quite well. What, when did we start this? Was it like December, maybe January? I think it's January, possibly. Maybe it was December, maybe it was before Christmas. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it was January though. So yeah, a good, a good five months or so that we've been playing this save and loving it every, every minute of it so far i mean i say every minute there's been some times so maybe not early doors but we're getting through it and we're doing it playing really well and i'm just looking at um well actually we'll, we'll talk about that before we'll talk about that after obviously last episode we played man city uh it was at our ground we managed to get a nil nil draw um a rampant man city team they are romping the premier league they are sort of putting teams you know to the sword left right center. some of the players they've got we touched on last episode it is just crazy. Um, some even the bench, some of the players aren't even making it. But we're looking today, and Nacho is out, Sinchenko's out, which isn't too much of a worry. Eric Dyer is doubtful, and Emerson is doubtful. Obviously, we've got Ordets suspended, and Kovalenko is doubtful. Apart from Ordets, though, nothing really too worrying. And we can replace Ordets. We've got um, ample, ample replacements there. Uh, so, yeah, nil nil. Uh, if we can do the job in Man City's backyard uh, at the Etihad City Manchester Stadium it's called there but I mean, that's technically what it is I suppose um, but yeah the Etihad uh, I assume it's still, which one is it? Is it the City Manchester still or is it the Etihad? Let me know in the comments I'm sure it's still the Etihad, I think it's just the sponsored kind of name isn't it? Uh, the City Manchester Stadium was during the was it Commonwealth Games or something that they took it from but we've had I think one game since that last yeah, that draw, uh, we did obviously draw our last league game, that was the episode before but we rescued it late on but we've had Kopati, uh, 3-0, Borak here with a couple of goals, and Vizeo with one there. Not much to say to it, really. Absolutely destroyed them. We're in no trouble of them getting us any sort of problems. So I think just to keep this episode a little bit short and short and sweet, we're going to jump straight into the into the episode now. So we'll the next cut should be the two lineups. So they kick off, shooting left to right in the blue. We're shooting right to left in the orange. Or orange and gold and black. Orange and black, not too sure. But we nick it back here. And this could be an interesting development. Hurtado's through. Alberto. And he just shoots over. So in fact, it was a save. Edison puts it over for a corner. It's not going to come to anything. So, well, it might come to Man City attack. It won't come to anything for us. Hmm. Yeah, now it ends. When we go forward, it ends. Thanks, game. <laughs> Walker, De Bruyne. I think we're going to be saying some of these names quite a lot today. Oh, we do nick it. Yuri Alberto. Oh, oh I should have looked right, really. Went the wrong way. It's just composure in the pass. Just wasn't up to scratch. Yeah, we're going to be saying some of these names an awful lot today. The way it's looking. And how have they not scored? Has he rattled the bar there? Rattled the bar, rattled the post, one or two. But that should be 1-0 Man City. But our defence is just... We can't we can't deal handle them today. They were a different outfit to that first game. Some of the players they, they brought in. Walker adds another dimension to them on that right-hand side. Oh, we just get it away. And oh, we just can't get it away with conviction. There we go. Can we pounce? You, Roberto, you've got to do so, mate. Fred. Inside to Hurtado. Had a bit of time. Rodrigo. Paulinho. He shoots, but just wide. It's promising. It's something. Since the last highlight, time has really ticked down. We're on the half hour mark now. We snatch it away again. We need to get some support forward. What's he passing it forward for? There's no one there. Uh, Dubal is through and a great save by Shevchenko. I think we're seeing at the top level what not having maybe some of the personnel fit for the system, fit for purpose is doing because Paulinho just didn't handle that the best but we've snatched it back and there should be a counter there but it stops it. We have a throw in. Leo to Melashev. Can he whip one in? Rodrigo's there. Paulinho. <gasps> Yuri Alberto. That's the away goal. That is a big away goal. Now 
despite the, the, the highlights all being very much Man City's favour and the possession just boy very much in their favour which we would expect in this system uh, we're not about holding the ball and keeping the ball but do we try and keep on to this a little bit more or do we if we I think if we try and sit back too much we're just asking for trouble and if we start bringing them forward we're going to have a lot of trouble pushing them back again and their fitness is starting to wane a bit so as they've got to come towards us with a lot more now there's a few more chances to have a good old counter attack at them we are yeah we're going to encourage them I think we'll have to stick some few shouts on in this second half as well just to make sure we don't do anything stupid like that but we recover just about and that is a big goal just before half time but Walker he skips past his man again like he's not even there in Dybala we're going to have to do something with Dybala I'm just going to check the opposition instructions I don't know if he's on man mark thing is he drops so we run the risk of I think we run the risk we're not even paused I'm gonna pause who are we gonna tell to man mark him I think we're gonna tell Kvitsov we're gonna try and give him in fact, no, we won't tell him to do it. We're going to tell Malashev to do it. You're going to just follow the baller everywhere he goes. You're going to make his life a misery. And we're coming up to the hour mark now. Obviously, if they score one back, it's not too damaging because we win on the away goals. And I don't know if there's extra time. I, I can't remember. I don't think there is. But we don't want to concede it too early because we're then putting ourselves under a lot of pressure. But the minutes are just flying by in this second half, which is fantastic for me. And I think we're gonna we're just gonna make some changes just to make sure we don't put ourselves in too much of a dangerous position here. I would take Yuri Alberto off. Do you know what I'm gonna? Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> I did it the wrong way around. Lincoln's going to come on for Yuri Alberto. He's playing well, but he's got that yellow card. I can't risk another one. Lukacevic. Um, I bring Matt Vienko on at left back. Don't want any weakness being shown there. And Malashev. Have we got someone that can come on for him? I think Fernandez can do the job as well. We have a corner. I'd rather us just kept it then, but all here. Fred losing out. They've got to come at us, but if we can nick it, but obviously if they do that, oh, but they still need two here. If there's no, if there's extra time, then I'd be concerned if there's, with them scoring. If there's not, I mean, look at the fitness on them. They're not going to survive extra time, you'd, you'd hope. We've got a few starting to drop. Paulinho, and we've obviously made all three subs now. Lincoln, can he be the hero? Not like that. Not like this. And he misses. It's a big miss from Dybala. He, I looked at him before the game. We were looking up. He's got like 25, 30 odd goals this season. All competitions. I mean, he's having a fantastic season. For City. And they come in again. Can we just... I should have gone a little bit defensive more. But with them coming out, I don't think we want to invite them on. I think we just try to hit them. And that, that's good sensible play. Tello. Calm man at the back. And Chevchenko just lumps it forward, but not particularly to anyone. We should have had that second ball. And someone's got to go out to him here. Sané. We clear it again. Fred. Oh, should have been more towards the striker. I think it's Paulinho right now. It is. And that's the game. Yuri Alberto, of all people, he's been struggling to nail down a position in any kind of form for us, really. I mean, look at the shot. I mean, that is a snatching... Snatch and grabbing, if ever there was one, 35% possession, 17 shots for them, only 6 on target, so you'd say maybe they're a bit wasteful, 18 fouls for us, only 2 shots on target, we score one of them, but, lost for words really, I don't know how we've, how we've won that game, I, I don't know how we've won this tie, nil nil at our ground, I don't know how we came away with a nil nil there, I don't know how we've kept a clean sheet in this one, resolute defending is what you can say, fitness, Fitness levels of them as well also a concern for them. 
Uh, the changes they did make. Yeah, Kyle Walker coming back in. He wasn't ready to play 90 minutes. 53, 59% at the end. And Kevin De Bruyne, yeah, they, they had to work hard. Especially with the way we were playing. We weren't playing possession, but we were playing that you know in-your-face kind of style. We weren't giving them a chance to breathe. And it's sort of paid dividends in this game. So what we're going to do, we'll lead the assistant to that. And they're extremely delighted. I should think so. I think that puts us in the quarterfinals, is it? No, this was the quarterfinals. It it's the semi-finals. I was all geared up for this being thinking that was the first round match. Who did we have in the first round? It's so long since I played it now. Oh, Chelsea. Of course it was. Of course it was. So, let's have a look. The draw is coming up. I think that's probably the best team in the competition out. And 6 million nearly there in the, in the kitty. That helps. Let's have a look at the finances. It says we're going to pass it. Not too sure. Not too sure. I'm being told not. And the overall balance is in the red. So, yeah. Hmm. I mean, you get a good amount of money for being in the semi-finals of the Champions League, I think, at the end, the prize money. The draw should be coming up any moment now. So here we are, a couple of days later. And, yeah, it was only a couple, literally a couple of days. Had a few news items to deal with, a few contracts and stuff to, to renew and things like that. So, the semi-finals, it's Real Madrid, PSG... Porto and Shaq's are. <laughs> we've played every single team of this. And every single... Uh, to be fair, Real Madrid in our group this year, we we had the better of them. PSG have been a fall on our side for a couple of years. The last couple of times we did get over them. As the time went on, I think we started to edge over them a little bit. So I still think out of all of those, if Real Madrid a second now, they've recovered. An ageing team though, I, f I think Real Madrid might be the one. We've got form against them this season. We're going to do the auto draw. PSG. We get PSG. <laughs> Porto Real Madrid. Now, of course, with this, we do get to get the away leg first. We get it to do our preferred way. Try and get something away from home. Bring it back to ours and see what we can do. Obviously, it, it was the reverse against Man City. It didn't go through to form. Uh, we didn't do well in the away leg. We know we did well in the away leg. We got the 1-0 win. We did something. And in the home leg, first of all, obviously, we did nothing. We did It was 0-0. So in that respect, if we'd done it the other way around, obviously we'd have still gone 3-1-0, but it would have played out very differently, I'm sure. So, PSG. PSG again. Let's go and have a look at the schedule, where that fits. It's not for a while. So I might... I might chuck a, I might chuck a league game in there. I mean, Doma Kiev's the obvious one, but I mean, it's the next game. Do I chuck a league game in there? I think I may do just to... Yeah, I think I may do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck the, the Kiev game in and I'll probably do the Zoya game as well in between the two legs. How much rest does that give us? <laughs> Not a great deal. Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Obviously, we can rest here. We can probably rest in this Zoya game. So I may... Yeah, I may show that game uh, just to give you guys a sort of a look at some of the fringe players, see how they work, see how they fit in the system, see how they play. So obviously a lot of players we've got sitting around the first team. You don't see you play very often. It's very much a set of 11, you see. So yeah, we'll come back for... I think we'll come back for Kiev. Uh, and then we'll play through. And the next episode after that will be the, yeah, the PSG game. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, you know, please drop a like on it. Uh, any comments as well would be much great. Uh, we're very grateful. While you're here as well, please drop a sub on the channel. Uh, it lets me know you're enjoying this and I'll, you know, strive to make up you know, more videos. I'm going to make them anyway. So you might as well drop a sub. You might as well drop a like, all that stuff. So I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, yeah, until next time for, yeah, the Dynamo Kiev game, which is the first domestic game probably since the start of the season. I'll see you later. Take care.